Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about CSS font property. So let's get started. All right, guys, I have opened brackets and now I'll go ahead and create a new file and I will save this as font.html and I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag and we have set the title to font and we have the opening and closing body tag. Now inside the CSS folder, we'll go ahead and create a new file and we'll save this as font.css. Now inside our HTML file, inside the head, we are going to include this font.css file. So we'll write link rel and we'll set this to stylesheet and href and we'll set this to css slash font.css and now we'll go ahead and open live preview all right the first property that we are going to discuss is font size and as the name suggests the font size property is used to increase or decrease the font size of the text so let's say we have a header having ID sample dash h1 and the content is hello now let's say we want to change the font size of this header having ID sample dash h1 to let's say 48 pixels so we'll go back to our font.css file and since we are targeting an ID so we'll write hash sample dash h1 and we'll set the font size to 48 pixels and now if you look at the output you can see the font size of this header has increased similarly we can decrease it to some other values let's say 10 pixels which will be very small and as you can see it's very small so let's get back to 48 all right so we use the font size property to set the font size of the text and the value of this font size property can be in pixels it can also be in percentage so let's say 100% or let's say 200% or 500%. So we can set the font size of a text in pixels like 30 pixels or we can set the font size of a text in percentage like 500%. The next property that we are going to discuss is the font family property and as the name suggests it is used to set the font family of the text and there are many font families available out there we have Arial, we have Helvetica, we have Lucida Grande and we have so many others and if you google font family HTML you will get a list of all the font families that you can use in your web projects so let us go back to our HTML file and this time let us create another heading and this time we are going to use the h2 element and let's say we'll give this an ID sample dash h2 and let's say the content is happy and we go back to our .css file and this time we'll write hash sample dash h2 and let me increase the font size to let's say 30 pixels 36 pixels okay so we can use font family to change the font family of the text so let's set the font family for this text to Arial so we'll write font family a r i a l and as you can see the output it has changed 
Similarly, we can use another font family like monospace or sans serif, etc. Now, let's get back to Arial. Now, we can add multiple font families to a given text. For example, let's say we want to use Arial and we also want to use Helvetica. So I'll write Helvetica comma Arial. So now we have two font families for this given text. So the browser will first try to see if Helvetica is available for this browser. If it is there, then it will apply that font family to the text. If it is not there, then it will use the Arial. And if that is not there, then it will use the default font family. So we can use multiple font families. So let me go ahead and add one more. Lucida Grande. So now we have three font families for this text happy. So the first one is Lucida Grande. The second one is Helvetica. The third one is Arial. Now note, if a font family name and a space, so we generally enclose that name in double quotes. So the browser will first check whether we have the first font family. If it is not, then it will move to the second font family. If it is there, then it will apply that font family. If it is not there, then it will move to the third one and we'll try to see if that is available or not. If it's there, then it will apply that font family to the text. If it is not there, then it will use the default font family. The next property that we'll discuss is the font style property. And we use this property to style the text. So for example, let's go back to our HTML file. And this time let's create another header using h3. And let us give this an ID sample dash h3. And let's set the content to Batman. And now let us go back to our CSS file and we'll write hash sample dash h3 hash because we are targeting the ID. And uh, let's increase the font size to let's say 60 pixels. So we'll use the font style property to make this text italic. So we'll write font style italic and we have the text in italic. So we use the font style property to make the content italic, oblique or normal. And you can use oblique, which is also like italic. So let us set this back to italic. The next property that we are going to discuss is the font weight property. And we use the font weight property to set the thickness of the characters in the given text. So let's get back to our .html file and this time let us create another header and this time let us give this header a class and the value will be sample dash h1 and we'll set the content to we are learning CSS and now back to our CSS file since we are going to target a class so we'll write dot followed by the value of the class so sample dash h1 now we'll use the font weight property to set the thickness of this text so font dash weight and this can take values from 100 to 900. If we set it to 100, it means the font thickness will be less. That is, it will be a thinner text. And if we set it to 900, it will be the thickest. So let's set this value to 100. And now if you look at the output, the text are thinner. Similarly, we can increase the font weight 
to 900 or 700 or 800. So let's say we want to set the font weight to 700. And now you can see the output, the text are thicker. We can also use normal, lighter, bold, bolder value for this font weight. So let me comment this out. And this time we'll set the font weight to normal. And now you can see the output, the font weight is normal. We can set it to lighter. And the font weight reduces to lighter. We can set it to bold. So now it is bold. And we can set it to bolder. And the font weight now becomes bolder. So we can use font weight 100, 200, 300 till 900. So 100 to 900. And we can also use font weight and we can set the value to lighter. We can set the value to bold and we can set the value to bolder and we can set the value to normal. The next property that we are going to discuss is the font variant property and we use this to display the text in small caps font. So let us go back to our HTML file and this time let us create another header h2 and let us give this a class sample dash h2 and we'll set the value to hello world and now we'll go back to our css file and we'll write dot sample dash h2 and we'll set the font variant for this text to small caps this will convert the text into smaller capital letter text so if we write font dash variant and we set this to small caps you can see the output now the letters are in capital form but they are smaller with respect to the first letter and another value is none so if we want to set the text to small caps we use the font variant property and we set it to small caps now before we end this video let us talk about a shorthand to write the font properties so let's go back to our html file and this time let's say we have a header h3 having class sample dash h3 and the content is happy and we go back to our css file and we'll write dot sample dash h3 and we'll use font property to set the font size its weight its font family its variant style etc so we'll use a shortcut and the shortcut is s v w s i h e f a where s is for style v is for variant w is for weight SI is for size, HE is for line height, and FA is for font family. So let us style this text to italic and let us set the font variant to small caps, font weight to 300, 
font size to 48 pixels line height to 60 pixels and font family Arial. So we have this text and its font style is italic. Its font variant is small caps. Its font weight is 300. Its font size is 48 pixels. Line height is 60 pixels and font family is Arial. And this is how we combine the different font properties into one using the font property. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description, so please check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.